Hello there, I'm AJ Puzzle for us and welcome to Moonlighter, a game suggested to me by Sarah Reed indeed. So, let's get in. Ooh, squidgy. Hmm, okay. So, new game. I've not looked at the options, so let's not look at the options. And, typically, straight in, maybe? Normal? Yes, normal game slot. That's nice. Right, so normal difficulty. I'll go for normal difficulty. I don't want to be chucking myself into incredibly hard mode uh, straight away. So for players who went, want to focus on the story, i.e. not get murdered immediately. That's, that's my plan. Among the stars of the night, there is a land as old as imagination. I don't know, imagination's pretty old. One night, maze, is, maze full of extraordinary... Oh, great. Okay, they called them the Dungeon Strange Eve, Eve, Eve. I can read, you know. I can. It's, 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 it's just something I can do. Soon a village of the slightly curious took root near... Oh, heck. Among the settlers, two groups shined brightest. Heroes and merchants. Yada, yada, yada. Something, something, something. Yeah, it's a tree. I give up. <laughs> Hi! You have a shop! That is self-evident by the shop. Okay. Long dreamed of opening the mysterious fifth door of the dungeon. Okay, so there's a fifth door in the dungeon he wants to open. Hmm. Well, at least we got some of that. A tiny bit. Uh, I hope you're quicker at reading than I am. I'm terrible at reading and singing and rubbish. Oh, continue. It's early! I'm blaming that. For now. Hi! Hello there. Oh, this is Binding of Isaac like, isn't it? You're going to go there then. What? what? I hope that they slow down for other things like the tutorial, for example. What's this? This is. This is Walk, isn't it? What's that? That is a fountain. We could go that way, seems to be the uh, thing. X and A. Do nothing! That's what they do. In fact, nothing. Most things do nothing. Ah, there's a... Uh, there's a roll! I can roll through tables! Awesome! Because that's always handy. Let's go that way. Ah, this is where we need to roll to get over there, isn't it? Woo! Oh! Uh, how could I... I went straight through that. Hmm. Alright, fair enough. We made it. Hi! Uh... To roll! Yes! Left... Trigger. Done. Oh, I can roll through enemies. Interesting. Is Does that mean that there's a pacifist option? Can I roll through shots? I can roll through shots. So I can roll through shots and enemies. I, potions. Give me potions. Can I roll through these? No. Okay. A. A means I swing and hit at these pots. Ooh, the vicious pot mauling. Okay. Back to them in. What are these? Mm, weird fragments of something. And right trigger to... Oh, that takes my health stuff. Okay, fair enough. So, hey. What was X doing again? Ooh, that's a power attack. Oh, cool. Am I using a broom? I'm using a broom, aren't I? I am definitely using a broom. What's this? This is like a secret entrance. Fine. It isn't, evidently. So we'll go that way. X! And then charge with the broom attack! There we go. Ah! So once you've killed everything in the room, all of the locks fall off the chests, because that makes sense. Alright, um, I need that. Gimme. Ooh, what does that do? Foundry rest. Rests. Foundry rests? Okay. Selling and reactions. Okay, I believe this to be remains of an old foundry. If the golems are created, what created them? Stuff. That's what created them. Can I pick these? I mean... Can I just take these things? What the heck did I do there? Oh, I see. That's moving it to my backpack. There's got to be a quicker way of doing this. Quick move all. 
Uh, right bumper. No, left bumper. That's not doing it. Oh, wait. Bumper, not trigger. I do these things right eventually. It sometimes takes a while. <laughs> okay, open! And this time, let's just take them all. Ancient pot and more foundry rests. Rests, foundry rests. How weird. Why are they on me rather than... I suppose they're things that I can use for some reason? We'll see. Alright, so we've done everything in that room. Now it's giving us monsters to deal with. Oh dear, and I am failing miserably. Nah. I am failing very miserably. Wow. Okay. This room is designed to kill me, is it not? Yes. This room is designed to kill me. Without doubt. And then the dungeon spits me out. Bleh. You are not good enough. Be gone. Hmm. Alright, fine. I will then. Huh. Hi. Yes. Uh. Oh, it's actually making it so that I have to press A to go on. That's good. What a sorry looking kid. Well, I just got the heck beaten out of me. How about you? All alone now. Rest for a bit. Will I have you now? Ooh. And we're in. To the shop. Uh, where's... Oh, I see! I'm at the back. I thought he was, like, carrying me in the backpack or something. Uh, Z Zenon. Z Zenon? Zenon. Uh, even as a mere child, barely able to walk, you were curious of the dungeons? Is this many plans of how I was curious of the dungeons, or is this the fifth door? This might be the fifth door. It's got, like, four keys, so, yeah. Fifth door. Uh, there is no doubt... You carry the same obsession as old Pete. You're calling Pete old? Morning, boy! Did our little merchant bite off more than he could manage? Perhaps. I was doing great until I was mobbed by everything. Will, listen to me. The hard truth is this. You are the last of your family, the only one left to run Moonlighter. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on this fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts, then use your pendants to get out of the dungeon. And for Crater's sake, stop using that broom of yours. You daft boy. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. It's mine from back in the day. Use it. I have little need for it now. All right. Ooh. It floats. That's pretty impressive. Now then, get up. You are wasting light. Can't have you neglecting the shop all day. Let's see if I can get through your hard head some of the tricks that I picked up from your grandfather so many, many years ago. Right, let's get to it. Get up. And am I not putting on the little shoes? I appear to have got peg legs. This is... I mean, I could be a pirate right now, because peg legs. Two of them as well. So I'm missing both of my legs. That's a good start. Successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things. Only two things. You must know an item's value as well as its demand. Come now, open the shop up and allow the customers in. All right. Hey, people. Open the shop. Excellent. Please come in and grab some rubbish. There's plenty of it. Well, there's two of it, anyway. Ah, you like that. Good. I'm pleased you like that. Now, go sell it to the old guy. Place. Uh, oh, she's waiting. Sell. Did you see that? Best expression you can hope for. Okay, so that's the really, really pleased expression. The item wasn't too expensive for them, and not so cheap for you to lose profit. 
be sure to pay attention to your customers' expressions. That's how your grandfather always knew if his prices were fair. Hmm. Sell things at the highest price possible. Got it. <laughs> uh, that's the same item for a lesser, a, a bigger amount. I don't think I need to tell you how that item was previously overpriced. Obviously overpriced. Lesson learned? Well, I didn't put the prices on them. Did I? Finally, be careful of selling a popular item too much. If you flood the market, you will have to offer cheaper prices on your wares. Point is, charge higher when something is in high demand and in low supply. Take out your merchant's notebook. It should hold all of the information you have gathered on discover, uh, discovered wares and artifacts. All right. I have five, apparently. Uh, right trigger? Where, where, why, why? Oh, I see. Yes. Yes, this I get. Okay. Uh, so, now it wants me to do something else. I wanted to move up and down a list, which I can't do because it doesn't want me to, so, mmm, fine. Would seem the sun has fallen for the day. Really? Good grief. That was a quick day. You barely have a chance for a conversation. I best head off. You will pick up more on your own. Maybe I woke up at tea time or something. Restoring this shop to its full glory, that responsibility falls to you, not I. It's in your blood, Will. Oh, I had a, that's, that's not good. Make us proud. In the meantime, why don't you try out that new sword of yours? Dungeons are more perilous at night, but one can always find better artifacts. Just don't dive too far and use that pendant, boy. I don't know how to use the pendant. Nobody told me how to use the pendant. I know how to die, and that gets me back. Ooh, town. Uh, go on now. There's weary bones. Of, these weary bones of mine must rest. All right. Um. Where's the dungeon? Hi. Hello. I sort of always wanted to become a merchant, but I could never find a pendant. I've got one. Most pendants used today were found when the dungeons were first discovered. Since then, finding a new one has become nearly impossible. Great. Well, I've got I've got one, but you're not having it because I need it for dungeoning. Massa, my son, when I find you. Oh, Will, have you seen Massa around by chance? No, not by chance, sorry. Uh, so I'm guessing that's a quest. It must be, right? Will, I saw you in the dungeon earlier, mister. Did you bring me anything mysterious? No, sorry. Uh, I brought pain. Uh, well, I, I, I got pain. That's That's not kind of the same thing. I sort of always wanted to become a merchant, but I found... No, okay, so that's another person who wants pendant. Go away with your need for pendants. Where the heck's the dungeon? This looks promising. Read dungeon this way. So, I'm guessing that it's that way. Have I got a shield then? Can I shield? Oh, I can shield. Awesome. Okay, what does this do? Nothing. It's a light. I probably shouldn't be paying att too much attention to the lights. Can I break this? Ah, how about this? Ooh, yes! One dead barrel. Ah, the easiest of foes. Okay. Uh, so the dungeon's that way, that way. Oh, okay, so we're, we're basically going by the easy dungeon? Ooh, that's the fifth door, isn't it? So, we haven't even got past the first door. Read! Gollum Dungeon. The Dungeon of the Golems. Dungeon available to merchants and heroes. Okay, cool. Yeah, get in there. And I still don't know how to use my pendant. This is going to be something I must learn pretty quickly, otherwise I will die. So what I'll do is I'll get myself down to nearly no life, and then I will... Um... Okay, that's the Dungeon of the Golem, that's nice. 
Oh, there's two doors. Interesting. And this lovely roots growing through the place. Hello! Monsters! Give me stuff. I will sell your innards. <laughs> I am horrible. I mean, I'm going in here. I'm, I'm invading these things' natural habitats. And I am murdering them just so that I can sell their innards for, for stuff. Huh. Uh, is there a way to up my health? Yes, there was. And I've completely forgotten what it was. Oh, dear. Ooh, I can break tables by just walking into them. This is a surprise. Okay. Uh, here. I'm using my shield. Oh, and now I'm not. Yeah, shield that way. Okay. I should be able to time things and actually do things well. But, you know. Okay, so. Shoot, shoot, shoot. And then new shoot. Can I go through there? Yes, I can. Is he going to change his direction? What was... Oh, he is. He's going to change his direction. Oh, bother. I'm not going to get far, am I? 30 health. Wow. Okay, do I have a... Um... Oh, that's just... I'm not allowed to go in there, but evidently. Can I get my life back? What was that? I made a noise. Oh, that's a choice between the broom and the other things. Well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go for the broom. Because that doesn't seem like a sensible idea. Hmm. How do I use my pendant? No, I wanna use my pendant. Let me use my pendant. What's the use the pendant button? Explored hundred percent. That's nice. I'm not gonna be able to do a boss, I haven't even got past the normal stuff. Okay, I'm gonna have a look around and then I'll see you soon. Okay, I have no idea how to use the pendant. I'm, I'm sure at some stage it'll tell me how to use the pendant, but at the moment I've, I've no idea. Ooh, hello. Uh, so... Ah, I seem to have some sort of um, combo moves. That's nice. Oh, well, a combo of two. That's still a combo. Okay, uh, this is a shelf with stuff. I can't get it. Hmm. Alright, let's head upwards. What's that down there? Oh, it's just a light. Okay. Urgh, we're going to find a, a boss at some stage. I know it. Five sticks. Can I break this? Can I break this? How about this? Uh, nothing. Okay, so this is... That's, that's good. Over here. Brilliant. Now where the heck do I find my pendant? Maybe the pendant's on this one. No. It's just not letting me have a pendant. What? Ah, that's the second time I've flung myself down a pit. Okay, is this the pendant? Read! Alright. To a person of hopefully far better luck than I, my time is short. I took injury from the strange creatures across the room. But there isn't any creatures in the room. My pendant, all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out, though. I'd say I fared better than he. Eh? He caught me spying on him near the guards' room. He dropped a couple items when he fell. One of which is this map. Uh, diagram. Okay, whatever it is, I was right. They called me crazy. Said old Crazy Pete Dunn, gone, lost his marbles. But I was right. Each guardian of the dungeon must possess a key of sorts. A key of sorts, interesting. All of them linked to the giant locked door outside the dungeon. The fifth door of Ranoka. Rhinoka. Sadly, I won't be around to see the door open. To whoever found me, I apologize for the smell. Nah, there's no smell now, you're just bones. But the diagram should be around here somewhere. Please open the fifth door of Rhinoka. These dungeons are not what they seem. What do you mean they're not what they seem? How could they not be what they seem? They look like dungeons. Big boss gonna kill me. Okay. I suppose you let them all out. Now I have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuff. 
Ah, Big Boss gonna be so upset with little me. Ah. Okay, so there's a blue key. Well, this is a really rubbishy diagram. I mean, it just tells me that there's a blue key, an orange key, a purple key, and a purple key. Oh, is that the second dungeon over there? Okay, fair enough. I'll go over there when I can. But I also need stuff. Ooh, what's this? Uh, so it charges. Ah, this is telling me about the pendants, isn't it? Hmm, all right. Um, uh, how do I then use... Oh, B! Let me, let me go. Oh, brilliant, because I need the life desperately. Why did that steal loads of cash off me? The pendant is a thief! <sighs> I'm have to be careful of this. Okay, so we got loads of stuff. We go to town, we beat a load of monsters, including one that shot us, because, meh, mean monster. Teleporting! Awesome! The random door. Hi! It's taking you a long time to get here. Ah, young proprietor of Moonlighter has returned. You look intact. Finally learned to use that pendant properly. Uh, yeah. It's about time, boy. Well, apparently, it's really, really expensive. What are you holding? Is that a chart of the dungeon? Where did you get this? It's, like, really simple. You, you found old Pete? Ah, dead, eh? See, this is what happens when you chase what's beyond that door. Leave it, Will. Just get the artifacts you need from the golden the, from the golem dungeon and look after Moonlighter. Now, I noticed some posts on the town board that may interest you. Some shops want to move in, attempt to uh, revitalize this town. Apparently, they need some startup capital first. Would be nice to see some new life in Ranaka. Okay, nice, uh, nice indeed, yes. Yeah, well, I've only got a hundred coins. The pendant, it's... Okay, we're not talking any more then, eh? Right, straight to the board. Here, board. I have arrived. Read. Investment. Town. Shops. Interesting. Okay, let's invest in shops. And, ooh, that's expensive. Okay, this shop expan expansion allows merchants to decorate. Oh, so different things. Yeah, different prices. Great, but, huh, they're all pricey. Very, very pricey. What's left trigger? Oh, these are the people who have the shops, presumably. Yes. Okay, that's interesting. Cool. Nice. Right. So, we can invest in shops. But we're not going to, because we... Oh, I see, that's the town stuff. All right, so we've done the town stuff and the shop stuff. Right, good. Great, I have no cash, so they can forget it. Hello there. Where's my shop, then? Oh, I probably should have checked that first. Is this our shop? Dungeon, that way. What, there's another dungeon? Hang on, wait, no, the dungeon was that way. How can you have the dungeon going... Sign to the dungeon that way. So is this a different set of dungeons? Curious. Are you a different set of dungeons? Or are you the same dungeon? Oh, creepy. Okay, this is the same dungeon. Interesting. Hmm. Alright. So there's dungeon that way and dungeon... It doesn't matter where you go. There's a dungeon. The dungeon. Can I go in there? I want to go back home. Oh, this is our shop, because it's got the big flag thing on the side. Okay, I should be able to change that, right? Ooh, look! Hmm, I could do with knowing how much things are worth. So... Right, I'm going to look into this, and I'll see you soon. Alright, so we can get into the various little tables that we have via this screen, which you get to when you just uh, sort of go over there. Uh, I'm not set a price for this. I don't know what I should set the price for for this. Maybe five. I don't know. Total 15, yes. But I don't know anything about it enough to actually know what it's worth. I don't think that that's worth much because it was just like the smallest of rubbishy things. Let's put them as 10. No. Let's put them as 15. I'm getting greedy now. 
Hmm. Maybe not. I don't know. Let's just put it as 15 and see what people do. They'll probably be really excited and go, yeah, that's awesome. I've got 10 of these. So let's put... Oh, I'm going to put one. I'm going to put them all. All of them. Thank you. And over here. And sell those for... What are they anyway? Iron bars. Okay, so sell iron bars for... I don't know. 20? 20, 20 each? Maybe? I've no idea. We're just random amounts. Okay, so that's that. Good. Oh, this tells me. Does this tell me what it's worth? Selling and reaction. Okay, so that's that's basically telling me that it's okay at that price? Maybe? <laughs> Iron. Fairly basic, but the very cornerstone of any mid-tier equipment one may wish to craft. Okay. So maybe I should be selling it at a higher price. Like... 40. Or... or let's see what it does then. You just can't tell, can you? This doesn't tell me. Hmm. Alright. Well, I'm just going to have to float these prices and see what happens. This one is a... Yeah, that still still seems to be fine. Yeah. I, I reduced its price by about 20. So, yeah. It should hopefully be better now. Uh, and that's, that's that. So, we've got a few items in the shop now. But whetstone. We've got loads of these, so yeah, we'll have those and we'll put those over there and we'll put the price up because we need cash. So let's have whetstone at... I've got 20 of them, so let's have them at 25? How are we supposed to know what's good and what's not? Well, I know that... I know what it said, but uh, I don't know whether that's actually convincingly right. Hmm... Okay, well, we've put some random prices on some random equipment. Ooh, 250? Huh. Okay. Well, I need to get to the next day, really, don't I? Open? There's a chest. Ooh, I can put things in the chest. Great. Should I just be selling everything? I don't know. <laughs> Move all. Move all of those. I have a lot of those. I have a heck of a lot of those. Okay. I might sell those as well, then. Have I got space for those? No, I haven't. I need more spaces. Ah, right. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rest in my bed. Hold to sleep. Brilliant. And that saves. And then I'm ready for selling. But I shall have to be ready for selling in the next episode because I'm all out of time. In the meanwhile, you take care. Thanks for watching. Feel free to watch other things on my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye for now.